switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights out. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 216 pounds. Fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, the Great. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh! Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Just missed with the left there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg sticks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. I mean, this guy is really focused on 
landing those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Oh, big left hand there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice kick. Here he is back in the clinch. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Beautiful head kick. Oh, collar tie. Knee to the body, now it's rough. And they separate. Big kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he caught the kick. Great punch. Stuff the takedown, no problem. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Just unable to quite find that range. I mean, this is his game here. Control your opponent's posture, land those nice elbows around, the, around his guard. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that he's going to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up at the fight stand. Huge block there. Stop, stop, stop. Take a deep breath and relax. This round, you really want to use your strike. You're a better boxer than he is. Let's go out there and put hands on him. Set up. Well, a lot of high level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping to. All those great body shots, all that damage was on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. That's a nice strike. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, man, snapped his head back with the uppercut. There. You can see him throw his entire body into that uppercut. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Good punch, Lance. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pitch. Big punch from the clinch. Way to hide that leg. And kick. both fighters exchange in the pocket. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Punch over the top. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants 
have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Single collar tie now. Big kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Let it go now. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Nice straight punch. Just misses there with the left. <laughs> Able to check that kick as well. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, lands an elbow. Didn't open him up, but very well could have. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Back and forth we go. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at him with his hip for that kick. Now on a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crotch, taking for life. Trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of out. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check him, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Right hand punch from the clinch. Ooh, what a punch. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, Guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big head kick land. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. 
Just over three minutes to go in round three. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice kill. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Connection with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes. Near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Stay relaxed. Stay relaxed and breathe. Okay? It's going to be there. Got the single collar tie. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Oh, lands a vicious uppercut to the head. Beautiful uppercut. Shades of Mike Tyson on punch out back in the day. You couldn't take one of those uppercuts or you would go down. Mike Tyson, or maybe it was Super Sandman. One of those guys just had a crazy uppercut. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you, what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you got to be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You got to be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You got to just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Is there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. 30 seconds remain in the round. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Thank you. A great punch landed with so much power. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back-and-forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Not there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. He landed the right hand there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, and he caught the kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at 
got him whip his hip into that kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Beautiful punch. Just over three minutes to go. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, just open it up on him now. Beautiful kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. He can finish. Oh. Now we're just going to end the fight. <laughs> Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Just missed on the front kick there. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, he just keeps making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want, you can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And they separate. Keeps the elbow there. Oh, nice. Nice. in the single collar tie. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. Big kick land. Oh, collar tie. And that one certainly found the target. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. 30 seconds to go here. Beautiful strike. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Five single collar tie now. Left hand punch in the clinch. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Look at the turnover in that kick. Oh, knee to the head. Oh, and he lands yet another jab. Hey. Pays to be the longer fighter. Oh, big punch land. Nice head kick. Throws the right hand there. 
they separate. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Nice defense there. Huge block. Nice leg kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Liver kick. Big punch land. Try to establish that jab. Single collar tie now. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys that found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice loop and punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, nice right hand. Nice body kick right under the elbow. All right, time to go to the gas station, TC. These fighters are cooked, my man. They have thrown everything, but the kitchen sink at each other, and it's showing the both of them seem exhausted out there in the middle of the outfit. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah, no more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're gonna lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Straight punch lands. Beautiful leg kick. Throw. They continue to exchange. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Big kick land. One minute to go in the fight. Real quick leg kick. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. That was again. Nice strike. Just misses with the straight right. 20 seconds left. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really just trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. What a fight! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision.
The judges score the contest 50 45, 49 46, and 50 45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, the girl. Actually, the judge